Okay, welcome in, you trader nerds. If you're not a member of our wonderful family here with our Discord group, check the description below for three free days. Come on in. Be a part of us. Don't trade alone, baby. Get you some, get you some family. We are family. I got all my sisters with me. We are family. That reminds me of the movie The Birdcage. That was a funny movie. I, why did Robin Williams kill himself? Oh, geez, y'all. Oh, it makes me sad now. I got happy thing about Elton. Now I'm thinking about Robin Williams offing himself. Jeez, man. I don't know. What if what if Elton John was a traitor nerd? Would that be cool? I'll try to speak in an English accent. Uh, Bobby, you know, I could hear him now. Uh, what's a what's a triple nipple donkey? <laughs> oh man. I had a lot of internal dialogue with myself over the weekend. And some of y'all may talk to, to y'all to self too. And I would suggest that you, that can't be right. How did I get down from 32? Now I'm at 35. Is that right? Wait a minute, it's wrong. It's wrong spreadsheet, Bobby. I started to say, I'm not up 3,000, you moron. All right, here we go. Uh, Bobby, what's the triple nipple donkey? Well, Elton, let me tell you what it is. 323. No, it's 320 and 32023. And we are at 35, 131.44. Fire up the band, Roger. Well, we're moving on now. Yeah, we're moving on up to the east side. Oh, on up to a deluxe apartment in the sky. All right, let's check our uh let's check our stuff here. So our deltas are 90. Deltas are 90, theta 104. 90, 104. 90, 104. Look at that sweet, sweet theta. Now, I, uh, something's going on. Is this what the VIX is today, 23 or so? I don't know. Let's see if we can figure out what it is. The VIX is 24. I've got 25 and a half. Really? Let's check it. 25 and a half. It is 25 and a half. Why is my thing coming back showing it's 24? Anyway, nonetheless, our buying power usage is. If it's correct, we never know. Sometimes it's like, now this was weird yesterday. It's uh, 18,826. Now I tried to sell a future overnight and this thing wouldn't let me do it. It said I was set to close in orders only. And I go, why would I be set to close in orders only? That doesn't make sense. Now, I suggest all of you keep a notebook with you at all times and a piece of paper. Uh, pen and piece of paper at all times so you can keep a little journal so here's what i was thinking over the weekend what is thou best way i didn't do it bad what is the best way to allow theta decay is it to keep delta neutral to then allow the decay of theta or should delta even be managed if not managed i will have wild swings in profit and loss i just don't think that futures are the way to hedge long term, maybe only for temporary delta relief in extreme situations and emergencies. So then I go on and say this. So what is a better method to control delta? Maybe either close net to puts, buy puts. Maybe the two above are the same thing since the result is the same net put count. Which gives us, which gives me more bang for the buck? Buying a $30 ES put costs $15 for 14 days of protection. Since I sold two naked puts around $24, closing two, assuming they're not tested, would cost me $24 in earning power. In other words, there's opportunity cost there. This would reduce the delta, theta, and buying power. But once my metrics recovered, I could always sell additional naked puts. There is a tendency to avoid closing existing trades. In other words, it's not what it's not that we want to accept the loss. But then again, who cares? It achieves the desired results. Since markets usually go up, shorting a future makes it difficult when the market recovers since you lose on the future, but you make money on theta decay. So I was going back with myself and I had, uh, then I would err on, well, I want to keep a little long deltas because the markets generally go up. So I said, I'm kind of leaning toward closing my existing stuff, my naked puts or buying additional puts with a slight lean toward closing existing positions, knowing that I can always sell more when the metrics allow. But then I don't have notes on it as I'm lying in bed. Most of y'all are sleeping. Not me, not Sweet Bobby. Sweet Bobby is deliberating. And I sit there and I lie awake at night and I say, what should I do? 
So then I said, I felt bad about Friday about demonizing futures. I did think that futures have a play in what we do because I want to preserve my theta, by gosh. I want my theta to be whatever my theta is. And I'm fine, man, with 0.3 theta. So I don't want to take away stuff. So I'm using 53% buying power. Now, I will encourage every one of you, go to the Discord room in our live chat, and I shared a, a video from June the 16th in the year of our Lord, 2022, entitled Sweet Bobby the Tampon King. Now, if you can get past the title, there's some gold in here. This is the day that I was using 100% buying power. Now, remember how I said, I don't think we had introduced futures to our, to our strategy then. I was short futures and I shorted a future that day. I think that's what I did. But anyway, I took it from over 100% down to 96%. I may have closed an existing position. It's hard to tell. But go watch the skill. <laughs> I hate to brag on myself, but the skill and the uh, that I exhibited and the calm, cool composure that I exhibited at that time at 96% buying power. So I don't want to demonize my friend the future. Now, so last night, I sold some futures in my IRA and my little thing here. For some reason, I couldn't sell it over here overnight. I mean, it said I was set to close in orders only. Why am I closing orders only when I'm at 53% buying power? Let me see if it'll let me know. Because I was like, what the crap, man? What the crap? So hit the bid, it says sale, right? Now watch it, it'll say, see if it'll let me. Count is set to closing only, and this order has an opening leg. What? What, what? what the crap? Y'all, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> I, this concerned me last night, because I sit there and go, there's, I got to get on the horn with Think or Swim and go, I mean, with Tasty and go, wait a minute. This account should not be set to closing orders only. Why would you not let me close trades? I mean, it's fine. We're using 53% buying power. What the, what the crap? What's wrong with y'all? We got like $35,000 in the account. We're only using 18,000 buying power. Why would you not let me short a future? And this concerned me last night, y'all. Yeah, it does sound like a margin call, but there's no margin call. I mean, nothing. I think it's fine. I don't know, man. But that concerned me last night. When they wouldn't let me do that, I'm like, dude, can you imagine if all crap had hit the fan and I needed to show a futures? That's got that's very concerning with Tasty Trade. I hate to throw my 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 good friend Thomas under the bus, but we'll throw Scott Sheridan under the bus. Nick was doing some deep reading over the weekend, and Delta is only half the story. You be neutral or even negative delta and still be underwater in high IV environments due to volatility expansion. That's true. That's true. Pattern day trading does not apply to futures, Bill. So it should have nothing to that. Uh, Stacy, does Tasty have the SPX beta set test for an IRA like Toss does? I don't know. Well, that account's not even an IRA. So I don't know what the crap's wrong with them. I don't know why they won't let me close that. I've got to get on the. Uh, Get on the horn today. I'll try to figure that out. Say, what the fuck is that, man? I'd like to sell a future, get my deltas down to 40, but I can't. 20% uh, down move in one day, sees your net lit. No, man. Maybe. Well, if that's the case, Stacy, hell, I need to sell a future. <laughs> and they are preventing me from doing that. Unbelievable. I don't like it. I'm mad. I'm pissed off. That's what I am. I am pissed off. Nick has concluded you need to manage both Delta and Beta. Okay, you're going to go a tree. Nick, you're going to go up a tree that you ain't going to find. You're going to try to chase a squirrel up a tree, and you're never going to find a squirrel. You'd be like, where's that squirrel? I'm trying to manage my Vega. Mm -mm. I couldn't do it. Maybe y'all better than I am. If y'all figure out a way how to do it, let me know. So I ain't going to do nothing in that camp. Hell, I'm just going to close it. Let's just forget it. Screw that. All right, nothing to do. All right, let's go look at the uh, other accounts. No, thanks for the memories. Tom Shoshna. Oh, if you're not coming to Atlanta, y'all are missing it. Because we are having a group get-together. Look at the hotel we're staying in. Look at this. Where's my Discord? Look at this. Here's where we're staying. 
Let me show you the hotel we're staying. Look at this, y'all. Look at that. The Weston, baby. Well, we're moving on now. Yeah, we're moving on now. To the east side. We're moving on now. To a deluxe apartment in the sky. We can look over all the shootings in downtown Atlanta. It's going to be great. You know, bring your binoculars. No telling what we'll see. But we're staying I've in stayed the there many times. Yeah, it's a nice hotel. I've been there many times. They got a great restaurant on the top. The, 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 the sundial. Yeah. I was telling Ed about the poor little kid that was killed there a couple years ago. They they stopped the sundial for a little bit. But, um, you know, it's back going now. We just got to make sure Ed doesn't get involved in the machinery of it, with it turning around. So it's a, I've got a rate. <laughs> I negotiated a rate of $155 a night. So we're going to get there. Yeah, it is a bargain. So we're going to get there on Thursday night. And if you come in Thursday, you need to, and you want to go see Tom Sosnoff speak at Oglethorpe University about entrepreneurship, you need to email Brittany. So send me a message and say you want to go see that talk as well. They only got a few tickets left. Yes, Ed, is it is it finished? Is, I'm sorry. Yeah, I just want to jump in on that last item. Like, um, in my communications with Brittany, she wants me to aggregate a list and send it. So okay. there is very limited space. Yes. Uh, if anyone that has either indicated they want to go or wants to go, uh, please message me privately because I need to get her this list quickly. I'm going to send it out tomorrow or the next day for the yeah. first batch of people. And then um, anyone that contacts me afterwards, I'll just kind of do it on the fly because space is limited. I don't want to wait too long for that. Um, so that's it. And that's May the 11th, right? The Thursday night, Tom speaking at Oglethorpe University. So we'll go to that. And then on Friday, we will all trade together. And I'm thinking we'll do it from like, you know, nine o'clock till four o'clock, you know, just do it all day and we'll hang out. And you go back to your room, use the bathroom in the privacy of your room, take a shower, whatever you want to do. Yeah, you know, we'll just hang out. We'll probably go to lunch together. You know, eat some lunch. And then that evening on Friday evening, that's when we're going to Applebee's, right? Ed, is that what we're trying to do? Or somewhere. We'll go to Applebee's or somewhere. Something like that. Yeah, yeah something like that. Like Friday, but yeah. And then we'll we're gonna try to go karaoke in somewhere. <laughs> which I think would be a ball. And then on Saturday, we're going to the bad trader tour that Tasty's putting on. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. And there are plenty of uh, spaces still open for that. That one is not quite as pressing to sign up for as, uh, uh, sorry, I'm responding to multiple people one time. Yeah, yeah that, and that one's wide open to people. So if you decide in two or three weeks, there's probably going to be space for that from what she was saying, although it could fill at any moment. This other thing is very, very tight. Yeah, the Oglethorpe's very tight. So we got to get a commitment on that and see if we can get you into that. Uh, Oglethorpe University on Thursday, Friday, we trade together. We go to dinner that night, maybe karaoke, maybe bowling. Who knows what we'll do that night? I mean, no telling. We're going to jump in. A, a, well, I can get three people in my car if I clean it out. So maybe we'll get an Uber. We'll go somewhere. Maybe we can walk somewhere without getting killed in downtown Atlanta. It'd be nice. Then it's not that bad. Y'all. I promise I worked down there a long time. But where this is at, we're not going to get killed. So we will, uh, then uh, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. And you say, what's the cost? There ain't no call. The thing's free on Thursday night, as long as we let them know you're coming. Uh, all you got to do is pay for your room and your food. That's it. And then uh, we'll trade together, and then we'll hang out and uh, go to the free thing. on. Oh, if you want to go to the uh, Bad Trader Tour, go to tastylive.com forward slash events, I think, and get you a ticket to that. So there's a lot of space left for that. So get your ticket to that before they start filling up as it gets closer. And it's just going to be a lot of fun. I hope everybody can make it. Uh, Ken doesn't know whether he can make it or not based on if they take a new church and where they're going to be. Hopefully Candy's going to be there. She's near Atlanta. So uh, Trey's coming out. Uh, it's just going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait. So it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, where was I? So y'all send Ed a message if you want to go to Oglethorpe University. Anything else I need to say, Ed, about that? We good? We are good. I assume you're going to get the link from uh, the hotel. Tasty about the hotel, and then we'll start pushing that as well. Yep. 
And we got to be signed up like by April 11th for the hotel, or they're going to put the okay. hotels back into the general pool. You know what I'm saying? And the other thing I want to mention is this this little speaking engagement. I think it's from like, I don't know, five till seven o'clock or something like that. And then it'll be over. So there will be some trader nerd activity going on afterwards. Maybe we'll go. uh, Maybe that's when we'll go to Applebee's. I was thinking maybe that would be a good Applebee's time. And we'll see what's going to happen on Friday. Waffle House. Waffle House. If we really get fancy, we'll go to Waffle House. Because I can get my... um, I can get my hash brown steam there, which is really, really good. Hey, we've made some money in this account. Now we're doing good. Well, we're moving on now. We're moving on up to the east side. To a apartment in the sky. All right, so here we are at 34 minus 1. is 33, 46. 33, 46. Let's see what that looks like. 33, 46. Oh, yeah. See, I, to- I sold two futures in this. 33. What I say, forty six. Okay, that looks good. Uh, we said this was twenty five. That one worked out right. And then our bond pair, 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 pair is at eleven eight, eleven three. Adding those two together, so about eleven three in buying power. Oh wow! Look at that selling those futures. See, I'm, I shouldn't have been so. Poo pooing on the future. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. 33. I'm at 0.14 percent. I'm at there's nothing to do now, Ken. I mean, there's just nothing to do. Look at 34.6. I could not have planned that any better. Isn't that amazing? All right, let's go to the final account. We should be able to play. But if you didn't watch the June 16th video about Bobby, sweet Bobby the Tampon King, please go watch that. Watch how we handle being up. 96% 96% in our buying power. Didn't even care. We didn't even give up real. All right, here we go. So over here, we are at 8790, 8635, 8635 going once, 8735. I'm going with that. 8737. That's what I'm doing. 8737. Who cares? This little work itself out. 8737. 8737. Oh, yeah, baby. 8737. Fire up the band one more time, Roger. Boy, we're playing a lot today, aren't we? Well, we're moving on now. We're moving on up to the east side. We're moving on up to a deluxe apartment in the sky. Yes, hallelujah. All right. Ed, what, what's your go-to song at karaoke, by the way? 6148. 60, I am not a karaoke guy. Oh, so. you will be that night, Ed. Don't don't yeah. be like, oh, I'm not going to get up there. I'm not going to sing. Yeah, whatever, Ed. <laughs> you and I are going to do Islands in the Stream. Dolly and Kenny. I'll be, I'll be Kenny and you be Dolly. I, huh? I'm not even sure what that song is. So. Islands in the Stream. That is what we are. No woman. Yeah, that won't happen. Huh? Hey, uh, yeah. don't be a party pooper. Oh, wait a I'm more 16. likely to, uh, uh, you know, do some air guitar on something. Okay. Well, you can drink I, Diet Coke while the rest of the That would be show. a stretch as well. So we'll just cross that bridge when we get to it. We'll cross it. Maybe we'll sit on the sidelines with you, Ed. Don't worry. What if we went bowling instead, Ed? Would that make you feel better? <laughs> what? Are you a bowler or no? I used to be, but we're going to find something better than that to do while we're all together. Oh, is that it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't think bowling's good enough? Yeah. No. Ed, what's wrong with bowling? You, you no, party bowling's pooper. not good enough. Oh, my gosh. I guess you don't even watch it when it's on ESPN, do you? You loser. I actually, I actually do sometime. I used to be a, a big bowler. Now, y'all ain't taking me to no hootie bar or nothing like that now. You no, know, I'm not going in that thing. direction. No, okay. I'm just making sure. You know, Beth would she would um, she would disown me. All right, I don't even know if Beth would let us go to Hoosiers, y'all. Be honest with you, I don't think she would. I don't think she she go for that. Ed, you'd have to pay mine. It couldn't come in back on the receipt that we went to Hoosiers anyway. No, I wouldn't go to Hoosiers. Anyway. Beth doesn't like Hoosiers for some reason. All right, I'm like the kids should experience it all once. They got great. You know, the little chicken fingers are really good. All right, here we go. So we got uh, sixty. No adjustment. We've got theta of 0.18, and our buying power is at 36%. What would y'all do? They don't do nothing. 
you sit and let volatility do what volatility does. Now, let's go look at the market for a second. You want to? Let's go for a second. And let's look at our linear regression we hadn't looked at in a while. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that just great? It does what it does. Now, I know the chart draws off of where it goes, but it goes there. It goes there. It stumbles here. It goes there. It goes here. It goes here. I mean, do y'all see anything out of the ordinary? I don't see anything that's flipping me out. All right, let's go look at our big green monster. Y'all, please, where is price bouncing at? Where is the consolidation? The consolidation is at the 50% line. And we know that the point of control is always a magnet. Looks like we're trying to pop back up to the point of control. But I, don't, I mean, you look at the one standard deviation above, standard deviation below, I don't see anything. Now, you notice that I, the great Bobby, sweet Bobby, added a Fibonacci fan. Like, I know what I'm doing with that. I have no idea. Y'all don't look at it and go, wow, what the crap is that? I don't know. It just, I just found some places look like I can draw something and find a little bit of support there. Look at that. Isn't it cool? I don't know if that means anything. But every now and then, I draw Fibonacci fans. I hadn't watched one class in Fibonacci fans ever, but I draw them. You know, I can draw with the best. But it looks like there's a little bit of support with the Fibonacci fans. Look at this. All right. So I don't know. But it looks to me like we're going here. It's just a matter of if we're doing it today or tomorrow. Well, we've already done it today, haven't we? We've already done it today. So there's nothing to do. All right, y'all got any questions? There are all kinds of speakeasies in hot land. Oh, I know what we could do. We could play poker. Now, that would be fun. Ed, bring the cards into your poker chips. That would be fun. I'm good with that. Yeah, I like poker. Wouldn't yeah, that be poker fun? Chip. Yeah, poker chips to bring by. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll go to Walmart. I'll pick up. We could talk cards. trading while playing cards. That wouldn't be a bad that idea. That would be fun. Now, if I play for real money, though, I mean, that makes it fun. Maybe we'll say, like, we'll play for 50 bucks a pot for the whole pot, like for the night. Now, Beth could probably go along with that. If I did we more than that. Play, we can just play quarter poker. Bring your Every, poker. Everybody brings 10 bucks. Yeah. Five, six people play, then, you know, you lose your up 10 bucks. Yeah, out 10 bucks or so. I mean, y'all, we'll, we're not, we'll you know, them. look. They will play hold'em tournament, but, you know, it's a high-class problem. Y'all out like Texas, so there's, so there's stuff we can do, y'all. I mean, there's stuff we can do, you know. I just don't need to eat a lot while we're there. You know, I need to be, I'm on my plan. I'm going to be counting stuff, so y'all get to see me count all my, my macro niche. Oh, by the way, it is free ice cream cone day in at Dairy, Dairy Queen today because it's the first day of spring. It's the first day of spring and it was 25 degrees here this morning. Unbelievable. So go get you free ice cream cone from Dairy Queen. All right. That's all I got. We're about to go into Muscadine Mafia session and look at that account for a while. But otherwise, I will see y'all tomorrow.